Hi there! Welcome to my channel! A while ago, I made an OC discussion of my Warriors OC, Brightheart. That video did pretty well, so I thought that I'd do a video on the main antagonist of the story, Shade Song. If you did watch the A Pride Heart video, you may have noticed that I changed the name of the main antagonist from Shade Heart to Shade Song. It's because I want to write the story eventually, and I think that reading Pride Heart looked to Shade Heart, and Shade Heart said, What's good, Pride Heart? And Pride Hearts, I feel like that's so much heart, and it would be really annoying. So I chose Shade Song instead. Also, sorry if I sound a little gross. My allergies are here, and it sucks. On to the video. The story is told by Pride Heart's perspective. However, since this is an OC discussion on Shade Song, I'll be saying it from her perspective. It was a very dark and quiet night. Everyone was sound asleep. There wasn't a singular sound that was present. Honestly, you could probably hear a mouse snoring from ages away from how quiet things were at camp. Until suddenly, one of the queens starts screaming from the top of her lungs. A ton of warriors are woken up by this, including the medicine cat and the leader. Speckled Nose, the medicine cat, bursts into the nursery and hurriedly asks what's wrong. Fellow queens are surrounding her and kittens are being pushed away. She's kidding. With the help of Speckled Nose, the queen, whose name is Ink Pelt, gives birth to two healthy young kittens. And her mate, Ratfur, is with her every step of the way. She gives birth to one she-kit and one tom. The she-kit is named Shade Kit, and the tom goes under the name Bat Kit. Shade Kit, from the very beginning, was a very quiet and shy kitten. As she grew up a bit more and developed personality, she was always more hidden away from the other kittens. As for Bat Kit, if you've watched My Hero Academia, he's a lot like Bakugo. So he's a total jerk. Not too long after she's born, Birchleaf gives birth as well. However, while she was expecting a large litter, she only had one kitten, who she decided to name Pride Kit. Ash Kit was already born around half a moon before Shade Kit. They were instantly all friends. Whereas Bat Kit teamed up with Ash Kit's siblings and some other kittens in the nursery to bully them. But Pride Kit always stuck up for herself and her friends. And Ash Kit, while he was docile, he just never really cared that much what they thought. And as for Shade Kit, no one really knows how she felt. Except for her, of course. She made it clear that she didn't care what they thought, but not in the confident way that Ash Kit felt. It seemed like she didn't care about anything at all. Soon enough, it's nearly time for them to become apprentices. How exciting! Wow. Though, right before their ceremony is planned, Ratfur passes away. There was a bit of a border scuffle. A loner had accidentally wandered into Shadow Clan territory. They're in Shadow Clan, by the way, I completely forgot to mention. Nobody tells Shade Kit a lot of what happened. The only thing that she knows was that there was a border scuffle with a loner, and next thing you know, Ratfur was on the Thunder Path, and you can deduce what happened there. As a well respected deputy, the clan mourns Ratfur, and Ink Pelt won. 100% goes into depression because she misses Ratfur so much. He supported her through so much. Bat Kit goes through a lot, and his bullying gets even worse because he's going through so much. As for Shade Kit, she can't help but wonder why she just can't feel anything about the tragedy that just happened. She's offered the opportunity to share tongues with her father for one last time, but she turns it down. Soon enough, her apprenticeship ceremony does eventually happen. Pride Kit becomes Pride Paw, Ash Kit becomes Ash Paw, Bat Kit becomes Bat Paw, so on and so forth, and Shade Kit becomes Shade Paw. From the very beginning, Pride Paw has made it clear that she wants to be the greatest. She shows great interest in eventually becoming a deputy and a leader. In fact, she often mumbles in her sleep, Pride Star, Pride Star. Whereas Ashpod doesn't seem to really want to be the best. Doesn't really want to do much. He doesn't enjoy hunting. He doesn't enjoy fighting. 
and he shows no interest in wanting to become a medicine cat. Shade Paw only does what is required of her. Her mentor, and also the leader, Stormstar, sees great potential in Shade Paw. While her hunting is nothing to really look at, Shade Paw is remarkable in combat. They develop a very much daughter-father type relationship. At least, that's definitely what it looks like. If you ask Shade Paw, she doesn't really see anything special between the relationship of her and Stormstar. As she grows a little older, Pride Paw eventually confesses her feelings towards Shade Paw and says that she really enjoys Shade Paw's company and when they're older, she'd like to try to be mates. Shade Paw says no and moves on with her life. <laughs> One night, as she's sleeping right next to Pride Paw, she wakes up, but she's in a dark and barren forest. Yes, Shadow Clan territory is a pretty much a dark and barren forest, but this one's foggy and unfamiliar and she can't recognize any of the scents. She's definitely not in camp anymore. To make a long story short, so that the video doesn't get too long, she begins to train in the dark forest. Shade Paw gets more and more unhinged as the days progress. She stops being so much just the quiet kit in the corner and starts to behave strangely. She sees hallucinations, rocks growing mouths and telling her that she's doing everything wrong and that she needs to kill the leader now. Though, the other cats turn a blind eye, all except for Speckled Nose, but Speckled Nose doesn't exactly do much about it. Ashpaw, who has done his best to understand Shadepaw, leaves the clan. Warrior life isn't for him. Clan life isn't for him. He wants to be a kitty pet. Shortly after, they complete their training, and they become warriors. Pride Paw becomes Pride Heart, Shade Paw becomes Shade Song. Pride Heart is extremely excited. She does obey and sit vigil, but just barely. She's practically vibrating with excitement, to be honest. As for Shade Song, she calmly sits vigil, like this is another day, and when it's time to go to sleep and go into their dens, Shade Song slips away. Just a day right before their ceremony, the Dark Forest instructed her to go look for rogues. And what do you know, she does. She finds starving rogues right on the edge of Shadow Clan territory. And what does she do? She brings them fresh kill. It's only a couple, like three, but they've all been hardened by life and don't understand why she would give free food and think that she might have done something to it. She pulls a scar from the Lion King and goes, stick with me and you'll never go hungry again. Obviously not those exact words, but that's basically what she tells them. She continues to gather rogues and feed them to the point where she even feeds them before she feeds her clan, if she does feed her clan. And as time goes on, she sees Pride Heart as less of a friend and more of a threat. Pride Heart wants to become the next deputy and Shade Song can't have that. One day, a patrol's out. Clan life is fairly decent. Nothing much going on. Mackerel Tail, the new deputy, is leading the patrol, and everything just seems fine. Until a scream comes out of the nursery. Kits and queens are out rushing out, and warriors quickly get up to see what's going on. An unknown cat has just wrecked the nursery. While they're distracted, another attacks Speckled Nose. Eventually, more and more rogues come out, and the, ca the camp doesn't have that many warriors right now. They're mostly out patrolling or hunting. There's not a lot of warriors in camp. One of the warriors that is in camp is Prideheart. Prideheart sends Bramblepaw to go find the other warriors and stands and fights. As she's scurrying and fighting every rogue that she can, she sees a very familiar looking rogue attacking Speckle Nose. It's Shadesong. And Shadesong planned all of this accordingly so that the attack will confuse the warriors as much as possible. Pride Heart quickly leaps at Shade Song, and Shade Song falls to the ground with a bang. After being asked hurriedly, "What does she think she's doing?" Shade Song says nothing, glares up at Pride Heart, and slashes her across the nose. To spare the details, they brawl. Shade Song bites down on Pride Heart's eye, messing it up beyond repair. She gives Pride Heart a slash across the heart marking that she has, wrecks her ear. Pride Heart is getting messed up, but to say that Shade Song isn't would be a definite understatement. Pride Heart is fighting back as hard as she can, as much as it hurts. 
Shade Song finally speaks. You've always thought you were better than me, Pride Heart. Don't pretend like you never believed you were better than me. You made it clear from the very beginning. Constant talk about becoming leader as if I couldn't compare. I was always going to be a sidekick to you. You were always too busy boasting about how great you were going to be that you couldn't notice everything going on with me. I was never important enough to you. This ends here, Pride Heart. I'm going to become leader of Shadow Clan, and if you don't leave now, I'll keep your skull in my leader's den. As they continue to fight, Pride Heart gives Shade Song the finishing blow. Grand chomp to the neck, and Shade Song gasps for air. She's choking up blood. She looks up, and all she can see is Pride Heart bleeding out, staring down at her with a hurt gaze. Everything goes black. And that's my Warriors OC. One of them, anyway. I have a couple. I can't wait to start writing her. I feel like she's very going to be very fun to write. <laughs> and I really like how she came out as an antagonist. But what do you guys think? Do you like her? Do you like the art? Do you like the style of video? I assume you do, because the Pride Heart one got a lot. Though with this one, I did a different approach. I tried to speak more seriously than I did in my Pride Heart video. Let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe as it really does help a lot. And I love you. Stay safe. Mwah.